Another golden year and a delight to welcome back to the studio the great Tony Christie. Hello, Tony. Hello. How are you? I am still above ground. <laughs> that's the best any of us can say now, isn't it, these days? <laughs> I'm very happy. Well, uh, that's the thing. We, we, you know, we, we, we know that you've uh, been through some trials lately, but you're, you're happy and uh, oh, positive. Yeah. That's the yeah. thing. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I'm busy, very busy. Well, that's the thing. You've yeah. just uh, got this lovely new album out, We Will Shine. So, uh, yeah, We Will Shine. This was you over in Nashville, wasn't it? It was, yeah. What okay. took you? What, what What made you go to Nashville? I, but I, I've been recording there for years and years and years, but only going there for, like, do a single, mm -hmm. and like, a day or two days. And this time we said, you know, let's go and do do an album. Actually, I did two, two albums in three weeks because um, I did... Uh, re-recorded some of my old stuff, uh, uh, letting all the, mash the uh, musicians from Nashville do their versions of them. Right. Which were, you know, more country, why, you know, country style. And uh, also a, a brand new album of new songs, which, uh, you know, yeah, it's, 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 a great, great. it's a great thing to, to do, uh, you know, at your stage of your career, to, to be looking for new challenges, to trying something new. Yeah. And, uh, of course, a lot of your old songs had a kind of country-ish feel about them. They were story songs yeah. uh, and about things yeah. that had gone wrong in people's lives. Yeah. So they, they... Yeah, they were usually, a, like, the thing, like, what was it? I did what I did for Maria was a, a story song, wasn't it? Yeah, it was quite yeah. a dark story, yeah, wasn't it? Very it was, dark, yeah. <laughs> it's man, man, man in jail about to be executed. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but these songs do lend themselves to a country treatment, don't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, and, of course, and I've always been a country fan anyway. I like country music. Well, yeah, you've got that uh, that, yeah. that that sound in your voice, uh, yeah. and the voice, of course, is just as good as ever it was. This Apparently, is apparently, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I've, I've been told by so many people lately. What I did was, can I, what I did was, decided to drop the notes, drop the keys. Mm -hmm. uh, because I was always singing very, very loud. I had this high voice, and I thought, well, this is silly. Because I'm, I'm, I'm now doing like they want me to do like two hours on on stage. I, I can't be doing singing those high notes all the time. <laughs> so I dropped, I dropped the keys, and people were saying, do you know what? You sound better with. We, now we didn't realise you've got a a nice middle range and a nice uh, low range. Yeah, so you, that's what I did. Yeah, the, the early songs were all at the all top the, of your range, all, but I mean, there, there was this huge the, sort of warmth all, in the middle of your voice. Yeah, all the producers that used to produce me in the early 70s, all they wanted to hear was my top notes. Yeah. You know, that, that, you know, every song had to be really screaming at the top, you know. Um, and that happened every time. It happened for years and years and years and years, and I thought, oh, this is... They're not, nobody's hearing my... The fact they have got a, a decent middle voice and a decent bottom range as well. It's better than decent. Better than well, decent, better I would say. Um, do you take care of the voice? Do you practice? Do you look after it? No, I'm very fortunate that I was born... I, you know, I was born with a voice and that was it. You forgot to give me a brain to go with it. <laughs> So, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking about the early 70s, that's where you've gone for your golden year. So 1975 is actually the year you've chosen. What oh, yeah. Was, what was yeah. special about that year for you? Um, well, I, I, because there were some great songs. I mean, all, all the 70s had some great songs anyway. But I, I particularly I, I went because I wanted... I liked 10CC. Mm. Um, one of the reasons was that... Um, that my manager at the time, uh, Harvey Lisberg, managed 10CC, uh, Graham Goldman, who I've, I've worked, I mean, Graham, you know, he's written a lot of great songs which I've recorded. Um, and he's on the album, isn't he's he? He's on the album, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. so uh, there's a real link yeah. here. But this, uh, the song you've chosen is I'm Not In Love, which I'm not is... In, not In Love, yeah. It's a massive, massive yeah. opus, isn't it? It is, it is. And I recorded, I think, you know, a long time ago, back in the 70s, Back in the early seventies, I think um, it's just one of those recordings. You know, I, I did most of my recordings in uh, in uh, Strawberry Studios in Stockport near Manchester. Um, it was just one of those things. You know, I've always covered songs by Graham because he's such a great songwriter you know, and a lovely man. Lovely uh, man. Yeah, a lovely guy, and yeah. a, as you say, a brilliant songwriter. Yeah. So, uh, Tony, the next song is one by one of the great songwriters of all time, Neil Sedaka. Yeah, he's, I mean. Yes, he, Neil Sedaka. I mean, obviously, he wrote Amarillo. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, 
uh, that was a, a worldwide smash. But, uh, you know, he's, he's remained a, 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 a good friend for, to my wife and myself for many, many years. And this, uh, The Hungry Years, was, it's just a great song. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've covered it. Uh, Neil introduced me to the, a, a guy called Artie, Artie Butler, uh, who did the string arrangements for the original Siddhartha recording of that song. And so I recorded this song in, in Capitol Studios in Los Angeles, which is where, believe it or not, Frank Sinatra used to record. Very famous studio, oh, yeah. I, be, I mean, you can imagine how it felt <laughs> to me because Sinatra was my hero. I mean, uh, he, to me, he was the greatest singer of all time. Did you ever meet? Did you ever manage to no, meet the man? I'm, no, I was supposed to meet him. And uh, I, I, something happened. Uh, it was, I was supposed to meet him in, in Germany. He was doing an open-air concert in uh, Hamburg. Derby Park in Hamburg, and uh, the, 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 there was a strike on by the taxi drivers. And getting there, back, I was arranged to, to meet him backstage before he went on. And uh, I was late because of the taxi service. So when I got there, his, the, the, the lady that was looking after him said, "I'm sorry, he's, he's, he's on the wings now, waiting to go on stage. You can't." And he, as soon as he finishes, he's got a helicopter, <laughs> and he's flying to London. So uh, you know he can't see you. And that, that, that really broke my heart. Yeah. But I, I did actually then, then see him live. It was open air in Derby Park in, 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 in Hamburg. So it was that was a great pleasure. But That's the only time I ever saw him. Yeah, yeah. But the chance to meet him just slipped away. Slipped away, yeah, yeah. However, Neil Sedaka, um, he's been around for years. And this, this song, The Hungry Years, this was his reinvention, if you like. He'd been doing the kind of bubblegumish pop in the yeah. 50s and early 60s. And then... He was writing much deeper, yeah. much more meaningful songs yeah. like this. Yeah, because he basically was reco he was recording in Strawberry Studios in Stockport, um, which was co-owned by my manager mm -hmm. and by uh, and by uh, who's this? Uh, a Goldman. Yeah, it was Graham Goldman. Was Graham Goldman. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he was a yeah. co-owner of the of the studios. So basically, I went to see Sadaka recording there, and uh, we became mates. And he used to come over to my house, and uh, you know we became very good friends. Lovely man, lovely man. Yeah, fantastic singer. As yeah, we'll, oh great. We'll A prove great it. Great songwriter. Proving it right here now. Yeah, yeah. And the last one, Tony, for you is the great Glenn Campbell. Yes. And the reason, the reason is, I, I mean, Glenn Campbell was great. Uh, apart from being a great guitar player, which I knew him from in the from seventies, but um, Rhinestone Cowboy. Uh, which Glen Glen Campbell was a it was a great recording and the reason the reason I picked it is that uh, Gr uh, Glen Campbell's daughter Ashley was supposed to be on my new album which I was re working on but unfortunately when I was recording it in Nashville she couldn't make it because she was over in Europe doing uh, touring so uh, I, I that's one of the reasons I, I I chose this song and it's for Glen. Uh, and the other reason is that uh, we, we shared a thing, Glenn and I. Oh, yeah. Dementia. Ah, of course, <laughs> yes. yes. So, so, yeah, Glenn, poor old Glenn, you know, yeah. he's sadly no longer with us. But That's you, right. you are very much with oh, us. And you're very proud to be involved with Music for Dementia. I certainly am, yeah. To let people know that, you know, a, yeah. a dementia diagnosis is not the end at all. You no, know, no. you can do so much. No, it's not nothing to be ashamed of. It's like if you've got flu, you, you know, you... People are ashamed of it, and I, and I, since I came out, people have stopped me in the street and said, thank you for doing that, yeah. because we're not ashamed of it anymore. No, and you're proving that you can achieve, and achieve greatly, with a dementia diagnosis. You yeah, can get on can. and do lots in your life. Yeah, uh, I, still, I still do my crosswords, I still, you know, I'm still there. Yeah. Not half. <laughs> yeah, more Not than, half there. More than just there. <laughs> yeah. And uh, with this album, you're, you're proving it over and over again. We Still Shine is the album. Uh, you're an inspiration, Tony. I'm delighted you've been able to share your golden year with us. It's a great pleasure. And anytime, Ken. More anytime. power to your elbow, sir. Cheers. <laughs>